Hello friends, Ben Ochart here, and welcome to the third installment in my um, Cichlid Profile series. And today we're going to be focusing on the Geophagus serenimensis. And this is a red-striped earth eater. And you can see him here sifting through the sand, something I find very entertaining. Be sure to hit that sub button and bell if you haven't already. Tells YouTube you like the channel and encourages YouTube to recommend it to other fish keepers. You can see this is a very, very cute fish. He will be putting on a lot of size. Here I am messing with the special effects. Here's a picture I borrowed off the internet. And uh, you can see here, they become pretty substantial, anywhere from 10 to 12 inches, probably closer to 10 in an aquarium. Some of the red stripes will not be um, as prominent when kept in the aquarium. I checked out different uh, web pages on this fish and uh, was able to pick up some information. And in some cases, the information was a little bit conflicting. But uh, everyone agrees that uh, Surinam is the place where this fish originated, even though now it's uh, bred quite extensively abroad in places like Singapore. One site tells me that I need to keep them around uh, maybe 77 degrees with a pH of around 7, and uh, 40 gallons is okay, and that uh, his, uh, you know it's a difficult fish, fish to keep that should be in low light, and uh, isn't too aggressive. Another site will tell me that it, that it is aggressive and, uh, and I can uh, keep them up to 7.6 with 76 to 84 degrees. So there is different, you know, varying information out there. Just do your research and, uh, you know, and, and decide for yourself what you choose to believe. Uh, certainly a lot of the fish that we're buying are tank bred and probably don't really have to be kept in circumstances like uh, they would be in the wild. They do recommend some uh, hiding spots in the back of the tank, maybe some flat rocks for breeding. They are mouth brooders, and uh, either the male or the female can pick up the uh, eggs, and, uh, and the, uh, the fry will go into the mouth of the parent when uh, startled when they're very young. When they flare their gill plates, it means they're about to uh, confront somebody and do a little face-off. I found that they face off with each other. There's three of them in here, but they don't really get into it with the other fish, such as the, uh, such as the red spotted severum you see there, or the AC heckali you see going through the sand as well. And certainly uh, the viejas, they tend to avoid those other fish. But I am really looking forward to watching this fish put on size and I really appreciate you joining me for these cichlid profiles and uh, joining me on the journey of watching this fish become a large, beautiful, colored up specimen. Thank you for tuning in.